Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. In the last video, we used this math command to get two integers, any two integers inputted by the user, and add them together. The thing is, I can come in here and I can type in a letter or two letters, and it kind of gives me funky things because we use the scan f uh, function, which allows you to grab basically one character. We looked at f gets and also gets uh, to get strings, but if you're just looking for a single character, that's what scan f is for. And we were using integers. Um, and really, we should put a check in that program to make sure it's an integer. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. We are going to use scan f again to get a character, but then we're going to get the ASCII value of the character. Now, if we go to this website, this is the first website that came up when I searched ASCII table. Um, all the characters that you can type have different ASCII values, whether you're talking about uh, HTML, uh, octal, hexadecimal, or uh, decadecimal, decimal, uh, the decimal system. Uh, we're going to be looking at getting these decimal values for our different characters. And you know things like F, capital F and lowercase f, are going to have different values. You can see here F is, lowercase f is 102, and capital F is 70. Let's go ahead and write a code to use that so the user can input it and get the ASCII value of that character. Uh, so I already have an empty setup here for some code and here I am going to say in our main function we're going to create a variable, a character variable char and we'll call it C for character. Then we'll print f a message here that asks the user to enter a character and then again, we will use scanf just like we did last time to get a single character. And we're going to say percent %c this time. I think last time we did, we did, we did a percent %d because we're looking at numbers. Now we're going to be looking at a character. So we're going to say it's going to be a character. And we're going to put it in the variable uh, ampersand %c, which is the character up here that we created. Okay. We're going to get that from the user, and then we're going to say printf, and here we're going to say ASCII value of, and we'll say percent %c of our character, so that will print out whatever the character is, but then we'll also give it a number of the value for that ASCII character. New line, and then of course we want to fill in, and in both cases this is going to be the variable c. So one of them is going to be the character itself, and the other is going to be the ASCII, ASCII numeric value. If we create that properly, we're going to say GCC, the name of our code, in this case ASCII.C, and our output, we'll just say ASCII. Go ahead and say ASCII, which is dot slash, is again is saying we're running a command that's in this directory, and we'll enter a character, and we'll do F, and it says the value of f equals 102, and that's a lowercase f. And if we look at this and we come to f, we can see the decimal value for that ASCII character is 102. Uh, we can run that again, give it a capital F, and you can see it says 70, and that matches up with our chart right here, 70. Now, if we were to run this and we were to give it a couple of characters, so let's do f, g, h, you can see it's only going to grab that first character you're going to put in. It's going to ignore everything after that. Even if the user, you know, again, typed in a bunch of things, we know capital F is 70, it's going to return F equals 70. So that's how you can get the ASCII value, at least the decimal value for an ASCII character, I guess I should say. It's not the ASCII value. Uh, it's the decimal value for that ASCII character, I think would be the proper way to say it. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. You can search through my videos there. You can search through my scripts and notes and programs there. And you can also support me either through PayPal or through Patreon. And uh, there's links to this stuff in the description of this video, as well as a link to this project. Um, GitLab.com forward slash melix 1000 forward slash my bin, capital M, capital B, in there. There's a C folder that has a tutorial folder that has a list of C uh, sample code that goes along with this video series. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.